Hi everyone. This week, the main objective is for you to write a draft of your paper so you can participate in the peer review process. To facilitate those processes, I will share one quick lecture on how I think papers are best structured, and then a second quick lecture explaining the peer review process itself. As you write your paper, I would begin with an attention-getting device. This can be an image, an epigraph, an anecdote, a quotation, a shocking statistic, a compelling fact, a scenario, a rhetorical question, a graphic description, or a number of other strategies. Then I would transition into the statements of significance and exigence. Finally, I would include your statement of purpose and a preview statement. It may be that within this intro section, which may be one paragraph or many paragraphs, depending on your style and aims, you cite research to ground your claims in credibility. Then you should move on with an effective transition to the main arguments outlined by your preview statement, or what some people call the body of the paper. For the rhetorical analysis, I think you should first spend an entire paragraph talking about the context or the rhetorical situation of the artifact or text you're analyzing. That way, your reader will know more about the who, what, when, where, and why, which are details that will help them understand the analysis better. Speaking of the analysis, that part comes next. In this section, you might organize your analysis paragraphs in one of two ways, or by inventing your own. The first way I would recommend is by taking the rhetorical tools each by turn and providing examples of them for, from your artifact or text like a paragraph on ethos, and then one on logos, and finally one on pathos. The second way I would recommend is by supplying examples, a different quote or detail from your text for each paragraph, and then using the tools to analyze them. You should transition meaningfully between these paragraphs. And then finally, you're ready for the conclusion of the paper, where I think you can and should add a discussion of the artifact or text. In this conclusion, I usually try to include some sort of here's what I learned statement, a takeaway or opinion or new insight or implication that you can draw based on the reflections or epiphanies that you discovered while writing the paper. You might also choose to review your main points, summarizing for the reader what you did in the paper. Finally, it's sometimes an awesome idea to return to your attention getter in some way, or to end with a definitive sense of closure a memorable line written in a tone of finality that will signal to your reader beyond the obvious fact that the words stopped happening that the paper is finished. Okay, I know that was a really quick breeze through a generic paper organization, but it's a crash course on what I usually try to do for most pieces of my own writing. I hope you found it helpful, though of course the additional examples might illuminate these points further. And of course, you're always welcome to ask me questions or to ask for feedback on your papers at any stage of the writing process. Okay, so now I need to talk about the peer review process, which you can find in the assignment sheet itself. I just wanted to stress that participation is so important and fundamental for this assignment, because just like you depend on your peer, your peer depends on you to complete their own half. So if any issues with your peer arise, Please do not freak out, but please do let me know immediately, and we will figure it out together. First, take until Friday this week to write your draft. It doesn't have to be an amazing draft, but it should be a first attempt at the assignment, something that your peer can read and critique. It can be as many pages as you wish, but I recommend that you write as much as you possibly can, because then you'll receive more feedback. Then you can find out who your peer review partner is and send them your draft in an email. I tried my best to match people up based on the similarity of your topics, and I've also tried my best to provide detailed instructions for how to email each other via Blackboard. But as always, please do ask any questions you might have. Anywho, then over the weekend, you should read your peer's draft and provide at least five constructive comments that you think will help improve the draft. You should email the draft back by Monday next week, and then you're done. 
Just a quick note, it's really important that you include me in the emails that you send to each other so that I can give you credit for completing the assignment. That's it. In addition to completing the draft and the peer review, you should also read The Everyday Writer, pages 107 to 121, a section on analyzing arguments. You should also continue to take advantage of the numerous resources that I've uploaded to our Blackboard page. Oh, and I completely forgot that you have a reading quiz this week too, so do that. So, a complicated but really rich set of instructions this week. Good luck, can't wait to see what y'all write, and I'll see you next week. Bye.